Yes guys, welcome back to another match day vlog. As you see, it's a bit quieter than normal. This is because I'm actually doing a stadium tour uh, before the game tonight. Um, Arsenal Liverpool, massive game, have to do it. Um, have to win it, fourth versus fifth in the Premier League. They're a point above us, they've been playing really well recently. Especially their attacking force of Mane, uh, Salah, Firmino and Coutinho. Um, and with our shaky defence, we never know what will happen. Um, Mustafi is back for this one. So that, that is a bonus to our side, but we're going to have to see how he does perform, especially after his collapses against Man United. Um, but let's see what happens. I can't wait to see the reception that Ops gets. No doubt it's not going to be the, the greatest. It's going to be up there with Van Persie and Nazri when they return to the Emirates. Here now, obviously. But we're going to have to wait to see. I'm going for a 4-2 Arsenal win. There's going to be goals, that's guaranteed. Um, both de defences lack that real ability and concentration at all times and with our attack and their attack it's going to be hard to, to shut them out and it's going to be similar with them so we're going to have to wait and see what happens hope to get, it's a good one let me know your thoughts in the comments below come on you gunners I'm hoping I'll get on. Uh, obviously, I haven't made too many appearances with the club th um, thus far, but it's a big game to turn up in, so yeah, I might get on as a super sub. Yeah. Wayne Brown. <laughs> yes, guys, back at the stadium now. Um, finished our stadium tour, great tour to be honest. Went to the museum after, but now we're on to the main event of the day Arsenal Liverpool. Just seen their lineup. Um, I see it's. The standard team you would expect. We've gone to the fourth back. Mate, the Nars has come into it. Um, so Klasnic has been dropped. Um, a bit surprised about that one, especially against the attacking force that Liverpool have. Um, I see for Liverpool, the Ox isn't playing. Bloody bottle job. Not starting. Jürgen Klopp clearly doesn't have um, the confidence in him to actually put up a good performance. Um, so we're going to have to wait and see what happens. I'm still going with a 4-2 Arsenal win. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Hopefully it's going to be a good one. Hopefully we get three points. Come on, you got it. Right guys, half time now, 1-0, uh, Coutinho actually put them ahead, um, got a lucky perfection, burn to the party, hit it over check, but we've been awful to be fair, they're pressing we can't hand, but we can't play out at all, uh, Shelley's had a, had a stinker, so to Wobi and Sanchez again has not stepped up, we need a big change in the second half, something has to change. If we lose this, don't we never get in top four, it's, it's looking like a long stretch anyway, but if we drop three points here, it's never happening, so we need to pick up desperately and a big second half is all we need. Grand yes, Jack guys, go, 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 go. Salah scores one, two, three, Sanchez, Grand Jack, that's all, two point goals, go. we're back in it, two to Tom and Arsenal. You're not going to believe, you're not going to believe it. Yes, three, two to Arsenal, back in it, two to round, three top, Urs has got to go, wonderful finish, wonderful pass, unbelievable. Come on! And yes, guys, back home now. Um, it ends 3 all. Uh, what an entertaining game at the end. It's obviously not the result we wanted, but when you're 2-0 down, you would take 3 all at the end of the day against any opponent, especially against Liverpool. They, if they won this uh, match, it would have been over the chase for the top four. Now it's looking very tight. It really is. It does show that match why us and Liverpool won't compete for the title in the coming years, especially with the right, or well, especially with the same managers um, at the helm at both clubs. So we're going to have to go on to Palace on Wednesday. We have to win that one. If we don't win that one, well, what is there that we're going to achieve this season? Um, we've got a cup semi-final coming up, as well as some big games against Chelsea. Just around the corner, so we'll have to wait and see what happens. We showed a bit showed a bit of fight and spirit, but there's always going to be that bottle job mentality in us. We're going to have to wait and see what happens the rest of the season. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. What an atmosphere. And you know what's going to happen. Come on, you guys.